Hi students, welcome to my channel Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, adjunct professor in Cochin University of Science and Technology, Kochi, Kerala. In this video, lines 43, we discuss a very interesting question. There is a chimney, 2 meter diameter, 20 meter tall. 20 meter tall, a chimney. Twenty meter, two meter diameter. Standing. What is a chimney? You can see it in industries, manufacturing industries, production centers. You may have chimneys where the furnace gases goes out. So this chimney is two meter diameter, twenty meter tall. This small circle with O as center, two meters diameter. You have got the circle. This is its elevation, twenty meter tall. The center of the chimney is O, the center O. The chimney is held in position with the help of three wires grounded the ends of the wires are grounded and the other end are fixed on to the circumference of the chimney on the shell of the chimney one wire AO is fitted 4 meters away from the center on the ground 4 meters from the center of the chimney in the ground or the point where the wire AB is fitted is 4 meters from the center of the chimney. The other wire which is uh, which is fitted 6 meters away from the chimney and the third wire is fitted 8 meters away from the chimney and the three wires in the plan are at 120 degrees to each other. Three wires in the plan are at 120 degrees to each other. You are asked to draw the plan and elevation and find out the lengths of these wires and their slope or inclination to the ground. This is what I do. I draw a small circle of O as center 2 meters diameter and draw its elevation. You have to choose a proper scale. You have to choose a proper scale because the dimensions are very big. I draw first of all AO whose length is 4 meters. AO. Where is the wire? This wire cut, connected to the shell. It is connected to the shell at B. Okay. Then at 120 degrees I draw another line and I draw CO equal 6 meters. CO equal 6 meters. D is the point where the wire is fitted to the shell. So DC is not 6 meters. D is CD is not 6 meters, CO is 6 meters. Similarly, EO is 8 meters. I have drawn the plan of the three wires. When I project A up, A dash, C dash, E dash, B dash A dash is the elevation of one wire. C dash D dash is the elevation of the other wire. And E dash D dash is the elevation of the third wire. Since this wire AB is parallel to VP, this is drawn, plan is drawn parallel to XY. That means the wire is parallel to VP. You are assuming VP there, the, the, parallel to this. So this itself is true length. And this itself is theta. You can say, True length of AB is obtained, theta of AB also is obtained. It's directly available there. What about the wire CD? CD, draw a horizontal line through D. D as center, D C as radius, draw an arc C1. Project C1 up, C1 dash, connect it to D dash. This is what TL of CD and this is what theta of CD. TL of CD equals so and so, theta of CD equals so and so. Answers. Agreed? Now what? EF. Draw a horizontal line through F. F as center, F E as radius, draw an arc. E1, project E1 up, E1 dash, this is C1 dash actually, this is C1 dash, C1 dash, this is E1 dash, connect it to D dash, what is this, this is T length, true length of EF, and what is this, this is theta of EF, 
pro length of EF equals so and so, theta of EF equals so and so. You have got the answers. You can say it's a slightly confusing question because the wires are connected to the shell. The wires are connected on the ground, 4 meters, 6 meters, and 8 meters from the center of the chimney, not from the shell of the chimney, from the center of the chimney. That's all in the question. I hope you understand. Okay.